Hello students. Welcome to Edura. I am Priya Kumari, your mentor for Indian economy. Let's discuss that how inflation can be curbed. Various measures are taken to control inflation to an optimum level in an economy. And these measures are monetary, fiscal and administrative. Let's discuss monetary measures in details. The government may take recourse to tighten the monetary policy. And why it will do so? To cool down either the demand pull or the cost push inflation. For example, the RBI may increase the bank rates, repo rates, etc. to curb the money supply in the market. Because of such a step, the public may want to invest more in the banks and it will lead to a drop in the consumption and thereby driving down the inflation in the economy. It may also use the qualitative control methods such as raising the margins on loans for commodities for which the traders have a tendency to speculate and hoard. Reserve Bank may also resort to other operations such as the open market operation to map out the liquidity from the market. And how it will do so? By selling the government securities and the government bonds. But monetary measures can only be helpful if the inflation is due to the demand pull factors and not structural in nature. Now let's discuss some of the limitations of raising interest rates to curb inflation. It has been observed several times in the past that the increase in the bank rate by Reserve Bank of India may not translate into commensurate increase in interest rate by the bank. Banks necessarily do not raise their own interest rates. At times, even the correct signal have been given by the Reserve Bank of India and thereby it defeats the entire purpose of the move. Another issue which is important in a country like India is the large presence of unorganized banking sector. Because of this, Reserve Bank of India is not able to control a large part of banking sector in the economy. I hope you are clear with these points. Now, once you are clear with the monetary measures, let us try to understand what are the fiscal measures. As far as the fiscal measures are concerned, the government can take two routes to bring down the prices. Firstly, it can cut down its own spending on various government schemes, projects. And secondly, it can increase the taxes, either the indirect taxes or the direct taxes. As far as first option is concerned, most of the governments across the world do not employ this method. And why they do not employ this method? There are only two simple reasons to answer this. Firstly, they cannot suddenly reduce the money, which is being spent on several critical projects pertaining to infrastructure, etc. As 
it would not only bring down the image of the country but also create a negative market sentiment secondly if they cut down spending on several important welfare schemes etc then what will happen it may politically harm them in the next coming election so cutting down government's expenditure is not considered feasible because of a mix of reasons and the second method is raising the taxes to discourage the spending the government may increase the private direct taxes to reduce the incomes and thereby decreasing the consumption tendencies among the public it may also increase indirect taxes on commodities raising the prices and thereby discouraging the spending pattern on them by the public it may also increase indirect taxes on commodities raising their prices and thereby discouraging spending patterns on them by the public now once we are done with the monetary and the fiscal measures let us try to briefly understand the administrative measures as well now let's try to understand what are the administrative measures these measures refer to the actions undertaken by the government administrative measures such as check on hoarding can help in reducing the prices apart from all these three measures which we had discussed recently any change in the demand and supply factors can also help in reducing inflation